So here's my idea. I think everybody in the fragrance community um, need to team up and we need to do or create a movie called uh, Invasion of the Clones. Yeah. Uh, I think that would be like an interesting movie. It would be uh, definitely a top seller. Uh, I think everybody and in the fragrance community at large would go out and watch it. Yeah. I said it first, it's my idea. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fragrances on this channel primarily, but we get into a little bit of style tips, a little bit of fashion uh, here and there as well. So if you like looking good and smelling great, I feel pretty confident I can help you with that. So make sure you hit subscribe and hit the notification bell as well, that bell icon. That way when I upload a new video, you'll get notified. All right, guys, so on today's video, I have 20 of the most accurate clones, at least in my collection, of more popular, more expensive niche, primarily, and maybe a few designer fragrances here and there. But I have in my possession right now, what I've experienced, 20 of the best clones. All right? Now, wherever you are on your fragrance journey, for whatever reason, it may be that you prefer clones over the originals, whether it's a cost thing or uh, whatever the case may be, I'm cool with it. At the end of the day, as long as you smell good, you want to smell good, you're good with me. So I have 20 of the best ones on the most accurate clones on the market right now. We're going to jump right into it. I'm going to run the intro. When we come back, 20 of the most accurate clones on the market. If you want to hear what I got on the list, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Yeah. I was gonna buy a Scooby pile with that money, man. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into this video. We're not doing notes or anything like that. I'm just going to show you guys the clone and, of course, reference which fragrance uh, that this clone is emulating. All right. So I have a quick honorable mention because it was really close between this fragrance and another fragrance that I'm going to talk about later on in this list. But this fragrance is called Kismet Angel. All right, this is Kismet Angel, and this is a really, really close clone of Killian's Angel Share. All right, you can even look at the juice color. This is really, really close, man. Um, I think this one is from, yeah, Mason Alhambra. Mason Alhambra, Kismet Angel. If you're looking for a good Angel Share clone, this one is going to deliver. Now, I know there's some people out there that talk about a few others. You know, but I really feel like this one and another one that I'm going to mention on this list are the best Angel Share clones on the market. So if you're looking for a great one, check out Kissing and Angel. It will get the job done. All right, guys, I am super excited about this next one because it's a newer addition to the collection. But guys, check this one out. This is called One Oon from North Stag Expressions. This is a very, very close clone to two fragrances, Bulgari uh, Tiger. And also, Boda City Victorious has a fragrance called Tiger from their really expensive collection, the ones with the animals on the bottle. I'll try to make sure I insert a picture here. But it's called Tiger. Those two fragrances smell uh, very, very much alike. I think the uh, Bulgari fragrance came out first, so I guess the other Tiger is kind of biting off that fragrance. But anyway, both of those a lot more expensive. I know the Bulgari fragrance is probably in the close to the $400 mark, three, $350, somewhere around it, last time I checked. And of course, Tiger from uh, Boulder City Victorious is about a $1,200 fragrance. One Oon. I would also, I would almost translate that to like Numero Uno. One Oon. This is from North Stag Expressions. This thing is really close to both those fragrances. So it smells phenomenal. I sprayed it on my hand and it was just, it performs pretty good as well. It actually says this is in a straight to parfum. So. Check this one out, guys. This is a really, really good clone of both of those fragrances. So I would highly recommend you check this one out. All right, guys, I've talked about this one before. It's a really 
good clone of Elysium uh, from Roger Parfum. This is called Trillium, and this is from the Amir collection. All right, even down to the bottle. This thing is very, very close to Elysium. And of course, the thing about these fragrances is, guys, you're paying a fraction of the cost. All of the fragrances on this list, you can find for under uh, under about 70 bucks. So, and most of the, the originals that are 200, 250 at least plus on all the fragrances I'm gonna talk about. So, you're really gonna save a lot of money and you're gonna smell close, close enough to the original. So, if you're looking for a good Elysium clone, check out this one from the Amir collection. This is called Trillium. All right, guys, from my perspective, the Amir collection uh, and also, uh, of course, our moth kind of, you know, has clones on lock. When I think about a good clone, the number one thing I'm looking for, obviously, is how close does it actually smell to the original? Then I start getting into a few other nuances like performance and things of that nature, which honestly aren't as important when you talk about clones because it's not going to be the original when you talk about performance and quality. But the best clone I've ever smelled for Silver Mountain Water from Creed is this one from our moth. Club de Nui Siage. And this whole Armaf uh, collection, this Club de Nui, you're gonna see quite a few fragrances from this collection because at the end of the day, they just did a great job. Quality wise, comparatively speaking to the original, to say it's a clone and of course, capturing the essence of the original DNA. No better clone on the market for, Club, for uh, Silver Mountain Water than this one. Club de Nui Siage from Armaf. Okay, guys, a really, really good clone for Delina from Parfum de Marley. I know it's marketed towards women, but a lot of guys like that fragrance in Rocket. It is what it is. I know the bottle is pink, but at the end of the day, nobody out there in the world knows if it smells good on you and it's in a pink bottle, so who really cares? But this from Club, from the Club de Nuit line as well from Armaf Imperial, really close clone to Delina from Parfum de Marley, you know, which is kind of a pow powdery rose fragrance. I definitely say it's unisex. It smells really, really good, man. In my humble opinion, you know, the, the missus had, I've never rocked it, but I wouldn't have a problem rocking it. As a matter of fact, I may try it one day. But anyway, if you're looking for a clone of Delina, whether you're male or female, check out Imperial from Arma. All right, guys, I'm really excited about this next one. Another one from the, the uh, North Stag uh, Expressions. This one is called Toi which in French is uh, three, all right? And guess what this is a clone of, guys? Guess what this is a clone of? This is a clone of, of Imagination by Louis Vuitton. Now, I will tell you up front, in my humble opinion, it's only about at that 80, 85%, but it does put you in the mindset of Imagination. Now, I haven't seen any other clones out there, I'm pretty sure, because of the increase in popularity of Imagination, that there will be somewhat, some other clones that will come onto the market. I haven't heard of any yet, but for right now, Toi from North Stag Expressions is the best thing out there. So if you're looking for an imagination clone, check this one out. All right, guys, another fragrance that was actually marketed, well, actually the original fragrance was a unisex fragrance from Tom Ford, Noir de Noir. This is Club de Nuit Woman by Arma. Now this was marketed towards woman, but it is a clone of Noir de Noir from Tom Ford. And I can confirm it is very, very close to the original. This is an older bottle. I've had this in the collection for quite some time. It's, the bottle's a little bit dusty and beat up, but that doesn't matter. If you're looking for a great clone of Noir de Noir, check out this one. Club de Nuit, Woman from the brand of Armand. All right, guys, this next fragrance, I haven't heard anybody else talk, or maybe one other person talk ever talk about this fragrance on YouTube, but this is called, by the brand of Vince Camuto, it's called Virtu. All right, very, very bad impersonation of the leather on this bottle. But guys, if you are looking for a great clone of Santol 33 from Le Labo, this is it. This is really, really close to Santol 33. Um, like I said, I, nobody really talked about this fragrance. Maybe, you know, the brand Vince Camuto isn't talked about a lot on YouTube. But listen, I found this one for about 20 bucks, I think, at a rack store. And I was very, very impressed by the fact that it smelled a lot like Santal 33. You know, if you can get past the, the very cheap um, imitation plastic leather <laughs> on the bottle, if you like Santal 33, you'll love this one. So check it out. Again, this one's called Virtu. 
All right, guys, this next fragrance is called Moonlit Night. All right. And this is a clone of Dolce & Gabbana's Luminous Nights. Um, that was a fragrance that was really, really uh, hard to get uh, when it first hit the market. And uh, from, from what I can actually assess, it's still not super easily accessible. So if you wanted that fragrance and were not able to get it, uh, this is a really good replica, even down to the bottle of Luminous Nights from Dolce & Gabbana. So check this one out. Again, this is called Moonlit Night, the one and only. <laughs> All right, guys, this next fragrance is one I have mentioned before on the channel. You probably heard about this one. So, but, you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but I do want to mention it because it is one of the better clones on the market of a popular fragrance. And I'm talking about this one from Latafa. It's called Oud for Glory. And this is a great clone of Oud for Greatness from the brand Vinicio. Very popular fragrance. It gained a lot of popularity because some folks compared it to Aventus. I don't really think so. Uh, but nonetheless, Oud for Glory is a great fragrance, and if you're looking for a um, a clone of it, Oud for Glory will get the job done. Again, this is from Latafa. All right, guys, one of my favorite fragrances on the planet is Oud Satin Mood, and I was so happy to find a very accurate clone of it from the Ministry of Oud. This is called Oud Satin. Oud Satin. I love this fragrance. You know, Oud Satin Mood, of course, a rose. Oud fragrance with some violet in there give me give it that powdery nuance and guys I promise you they captured the essence of it in this bottle I recall the first time I wore this I actually wore it out uh, on a date with the missus and she was like oh, you got on a uh, Oud satin mood well, she don't really talk like that but you know I try my best but it was this you know so even to uh, well trained because she has a really good nose Obviously, she thought it was Oud Satin Mood. It's really, really close. So check it out from the Ministry of Oud. This is Oud Satin. All right, guys, this next fragrance is another Arma fragrance. This is a clone of Pegasus from Parfums de Marley, and this is called Craze. This is called Craze. This is my second bottle of, the, of Craze. I really like this one, man. A lot of people talk about, um, can't remember the name of it, from um, Al Haramain. It is a really, really close clone as well, but this one is cheaper. Um, I can't remember the name of it, something Stallion. But uh, anyway, this is a cheaper, accurate version of um, Pegasus. So if you're looking for a great Pegasus clone, check this one out from Armoff. This is called Craze. Speaking of the brand of Al Haramain, a really close clone to Ombre Nomad. Of course, they really animalic leather, oud and rose fragrance with a little raspberry. Check out this one from Al Haramain. This is called Amber Musk. Nice bottle, nice presentation on this one. I really like this bottle. And uh, with that particular fragrance going for about 380 bucks at Louis Vuitton, again, you're looking at maybe 50, 60 bucks for this fragrance. And it is really, 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 really close clone to Ombre Nomad. So check this one out from Al Haramain. This is called Amber Musk. All right, guys, now we're going back to the Amir collection. If you're looking for a great clone, of Cedrat Boise. Look no further than this one. This is Cedrat Essence. Another fragrance from the Amir collection. Uh, to me, this one is about 85% similar um, to um, Cedrat Boise, especially the opening. That first hour or so is really, really close. The dry down, it kind of goes in a little bit different direction. But for that first hour, you're going to get Cedrat Boise. So check this one out from the Amir collection. This is called Cedrat Essence. Of course, you guys know, in my opinion, the best Aventus clone ever is Club de Nuit Intense Man, and I still feel that way. Aventus is a fragrance that has probably 65,000 clones now. Probably, maybe 65,001, but now who's counting? But this, to me, is one of the first and one of the best. If you can get your, your hand on, on a vintage bottle, I want to call it, of Club de Nuit Intense Man that doesn't have the writing down the side, one that's just plain, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Still, to me, probably the best clone of Aventus on the market. Club Nini Wee Intense Man. Okay, guys, another fragrance from the brand of Al Haramain. This is called Detour Noir. And this is a clone of Layton from Parfums de Marley. Now, there's a few other fragrances that I've heard about. I haven't got my nose on them yet that people have uh, said is a good clone of Layton. I just haven't smelled them yet. So, so far, from my nose, from what I've been able to assess, this is the best one 
for letting on the market. And again, this is called Detour Noir. Okay, guys, what good clone list is complete without a an Aventus or a Baccarat Rouge 540 reference? The two most cloned fragrances on the entire planet. And Club Bay Nui from Armoff has done it again with Untold. All right, Untold, you can get this for about 40 bucks. And I think, in my humble opinion, outside of the fragrance community, Baccarat Rouge is actually a little bit more popular than Aventus at this point. It's a fragrance that all celebrities, men and women alike, like to wear. It's kind of a status symbol fragrance, honestly, from what I've been able to assess. So if you're looking for a great Baccarat clone, this is a good one. This is called Club de Nuit Untold. Okay, guys, I just talked about this fragrance recently, so I won't spend a lot of time on it, but this fragrance, Frenetic Delicios, from the Amir collection, is a clone of Fab Delicios from Christian Dior. And it has 100% confirmed Fab is discontinued. I don't know if they will bring that fragrance back or something I noticed that Dior has been doing is bringing out another fragrance with similar notes with a different name. So whether that happens or they actually bring Fab back at some point, for right now it's discontinued. And if you don't want to spend about 500 bucks, this is the best that you can do. But it's a really good clone of Fab Delicios. So check this one out, Frenetic Delicios. All right, guys, speaking of popular fragrances that get cloned a lot, this is fragrance is starting to be cloned a lot. And I'm talking about Killian's Angel Share. And to me, this is the best one. This is from the Amir collection as well. This is called Fire Your Desire. And again, this is about 95% close to, to Angel Share. This smells heavenly, man. So I've talked about it before. I won't spend a lot of time. Check this one out if you're looking for a good Angel Share clone. All right, guys, we got two fragrances left. And this fragrance, uh, the best Millicent Imperial from Creed Clone that I've seen on the market. From our moth again, this is called Milestone. Milestone, another fragrance where, in my humble opinion, they got it about 95% correct. Oh, man, this is so good. This is a little bit sweeter than Millicent Imperial, but it is really, really close. Performance on this, in my humble opinion, is pretty good as well. So, um, that seems to be, in my experience, the case with a lot of the Armagh fragrances. That's why, when if for my money, if I'm talking about a clone, I kind of hold them in high regard in the whole clone arena because they do perform well, especially when you get those first batches of um, Armagh fragrances that come out. And that's if I'm interested in one, that's what I try to do. But anyway, great Millicent Imperial clone from the brand of Armagh. This is called Milestone. All right, guys, and last but not least, this fragrance again from Mason Alhambra. If you're looking for a Oud Wood clone, I love Oud Wood, and this one is called Woody Oud. This is another one where they even went as far as to clone the bottle presentation. <laughs> but it is a really good clone of Oud Wood. That's a fragrance that I it looks like I'm going to always run through and have to re-up on. I've been through a 50 ml. I'm halfway through another 100 ml, and that's saying a lot because I have a lot of fragrances. So... It wouldn't hurt to have a clone in there that you could just, if you want that old wood feel um, on a given day and you're trying to preserve the juice for whatever reason, or if you just don't want to spend the money for the original, check this one out. Woody Oud from Mason Alhambra is a really good clone. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you 20 of the most accurate clones of more popular niche fragrances on the market. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Love looking good. Love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.